What makes a good friend? Maybe you have friends from toddler groups, nursery or school. Maybe you have friends who live near your house. Making friends is great. Do you ever argue with your friends and break friends with them? Sometimes when we break friends, we make up by giving each other a hug. We can say sorry or do something kind to show them that we love them. Our story is about making and breaking friends with God. I say people break friends with God. God made the world and everything in it, including people. The world was good, but it didn't stay that way. Uh-oh! God wanted to make friends with people, but people wanted to break friends with God. People did what they wanted and turned their backs on God. And it broke the world. Yeah, the world was broken. How was God going to fix the world and make friends with people again? God had a plan. God washed the world clean, a fresh start. I can see the result. But people messed it up again. Oh, messy. God gave people helpful rules to live by, but people broke them. Oh, no. God sent messages and messengers. But people didn't listen. No, they didn't listen. God the Maker wanted to show people how to make friends with him again. But people still turned their backs on God. Their friendship was still broken, and was so was the whole world. I wonder what God will do now. Hmm, let's see. God's plan was to fix the world with love. God sent a tiny baby, his son Jesus, from heaven to earth to rescue the broken world. Yay! Jesus the Rescuer grew up and showed people what God is like. Jesus the Rescuer showed people the right way to live. Jesus the Rescuer was God's perfect plan to fix the broken world. Also that everyone can make friends with God again. How do you show love to people? I like to give people a hug and make them things. Jesus chose 12 special friends who helped him show people what God is like and the right way to live. But not everyone was Jesus' friend. There were some important rulers who bossed people about. They told people to do things their way. They didn't like Jesus. They thought people would follow Jesus rather than them. The important rulers began to make their own mean plans against Jesus. Oh no! Oh no indeed! The time came for the next step in God's plan. One special Sunday, Jesus and his friends travelled into a city called Jerusalem. Jesus didn't travel by car or bus, not by helicopter or rocket. Jesus didn't even travel on a big strong horse. Jesus rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. The people in Jerusalem had heard how special Jesus was and were excited to see him. They cheered and waved palm branches. But guess what? The important rulers were very cross. Would you cheer if you saw Jesus? I cheer for Jesus. Hooray! Hooray! Jesus wanted to show people how to be friends with God. He went to the temple, a special place for spending time with God. But instead of being with God, people were breaking friends with God and each other. Oh no! They were being unkind and greedy, making lots of money for themselves. Jesus got very cross. Very cross. Jesus turned the temple tables over and told the people to get out. Oh. There goes the table. The important rulers were cross with Jesus. They wanted to make money more than friends. Jesus knew God's plan. The plan to fix the broken world and help people to make friends with God again. On Thursday, Jesus shared a special meal with his 12 friends. Nom, nom, nom. He asked them to remember him when he was gone, when they ate bread and drank wine. Jesus' friends didn't understand God's plan. Judas, one of Jesus' friends, told the important rulers where to find Jesus. Oh no! Judas broke friends with Jesus for a bag of silver coins. After their special meal, Jesus and some of his friends went to a garden to talk to God. Jesus prayed and asked God to help him. 
but Jesus' friends fell asleep. <coughs> Suddenly, Jesus and his friends saw Judas with the important rulers and their soldiers. They had come for Jesus, and Jesus let them take him. Oh my! The important rulers wanted to stop people making friends with Jesus. The important rulers decided that Jesus needed to be punished for not telling the truth. On Friday, Jesus died on a wooden cross. He hadn't done anything wrong, but he let the people break friends and kill him because Jesus loves people. Jesus dying on the cross shows how much he and God wanted to fix things. Jesus showed that God is always ready to make friends again if we say sorry. This was God's plan. This was how He began to fix our broken world. When Jesus had died, His friends put His body in a tomb with a big stone across it. Jesus's family and friends were very sad. They missed Jesus lots and lots. But don't worry, God's plan wasn't finished yet. On the Sunday morning, some of Jesus's friends went to the tomb to wash Jesus's dead body. But the stone had already been moved away by angels, and Jesus' body was gone. Jesus' friend Mary saw a man in the garden. It was Jesus. Jesus was alive again. Yay! Jesus spent time with his friends, eating, hugging, and chatting. What a big happy surprise! Jesus, the rescuer, showed that God can fix our friendship with him. And that God can fix the broken world. Jesus had to say goodbye to his friends, to go back to his Father God in heaven. Jesus didn't want to leave his friends on their own, so he told them he would send God's Spirit, the special helper, to help them. They could make friends with God's special helper. Then Jesus said goodbye and promised he would come back one day. The world still looks broken. But Jesus promised that He would come back one day to finish all the fixing. He will make the world brand new. Then everyone who is Jesus's friend will live together with Him forever in a perfect, fixed world. It will be good, and we will be God's friends forever. Dear Jesus, I'm sorry for the wrong things I do that break them. Thank you that you came to fix the broken world. Thank you that you love the world so much. You died on the cross to fix it. Thank you that you want to make friends with me. Yes, please. I want to be your friend. Amen.